Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 43. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week 9, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about the default chart and keyboards for the active sheet and a new sheet. Now, here is a table, cities, and revenues. I want to do the default chart, which is a column chart. So if I want it on this active sheet, I use Alt F1. And just like that, I have the default chart. If I highlight this data and I want to insert the chart as a new sheet, I simply hit F11. And there, as a new sheet, I have uh, the default chart. Now let's go back to D, and I want to show you how to change that. I'm going to uh, scoot this over to the side. Simply go up to Insert, Dialog Launcher for Charts. All charts, any one that you go to and select. So I'm going to select the category line. And any one of these, if I right click, I could set this as default. And so you can do that for any one of these. I'm going to close this now when I do Alt F1. It's a line chart. If I were to do that same trick again, I could even go and get the template. Now in the last video, we created this template. Right click, set as default. Click OK. So now when I come over here, no, oh, I see I just clicked it, but I'm going to delete it. Uh, when I highlight this and do Alt F1, there's the default chart. Now I'm actually going to change it back. So later in our video, we're going to use some column charts. So I'm going to change it back to column and just this first one, right click, set as default. So set as default is as simple as coming anywhere here to any one of these and right clicking set as default. All right, we'll see you next video.